This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com. Fight me, a fearless expression. What are you willing to fight for? And PowerPerformanceProducts.com, where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazar here with Anthony Jokwani. Impressive performance, young man. This is what you expected, obviously, going in. Good, good matchup for you. Talk about what, what went down. Yeah, it was a great matchup. It wasn't the way that I wanted to come out, but you know, I'm glad that I got the W and I'm moving forward. Yeah, you, you you know you came out, did your thing in the first two rounds, and then in the third, obviously, you were kind of just cruising. It seemed like you didn't want to take any chances. I mean, he's a dangerous guy, right? Yeah, he's a very dangerous guy. I mean, you know, he has a a lot of tools under his belt um, that I really don't possess because he he knows how to use them in, in a, lot, a lot of different ways. So I was really cautious about that. But I did want to give the crowd what they, you know, paid for. You know, you know, I'm, I'm a very exciting fighter. I like to give the crowd what they, what they pay for. You know, I don't like to take y'all money and not give y'all anything. So, that's why I tried my best. I'm sorry that I didn't, sorry I didn't give you the knockout or a submission like I promised. But you know, I'm glad I went out there, did my thing, and got the W. Of course, Nick and Sergio were a little bit. He should have knocked them out. It was all right. Everybody said I should have knocked him out, but come on, this is a dangerous dude. You don't want to take any chances with him. I mean, he can catch you in all different. <laughs> Way so I try to keep a I try to play a smart game. I thought you were gonna go for the submission. What happened? Hey, I was trying to. I, I caught myself and I stopped in a little takedown that I could have I could have got, but oh well. I tried it. So were you also surprised that you didn't get any clinch work in in this fight, or was the was it more you wanted to keep the range because of the reach advantage? Well, I was trying to actually I was trying to get that clinch going on, but for some reason I guess he knew uh, what to do because he kept on like. Every single time I try to grab the head, he'll push me off and like try to throw like furrier punches. But I mean, it's not the best thing to do. But you know, it worked for him tonight. And I just couldn't grab his freaking head <laughs> to get it done. But you know, the it, leg kicks might have been the most effective uh, thing in the fight. You know, you really reddened up his leg there and probably stopped his movement. Actually, it did because that's that was our main focus was to take that front leg out because that's his main tool. That's what he needs in order to throw like the spinning back fix, in order to throw the spinning. Uh, back kicks and all that other crazy stuff that he throws. Once you take, once you eliminate that and then go for the, um, and then take away his the, the, his left side with all those kicks and that's what I was pretty much doing was doing all that. So I did stick to the game plan in order to capitalize on, on that. The fans clearly don't understand, I don't think, how much those leg kicks hurt. The only reason probably he was able to withstand is because he has such a good kickboxing background, you think? Yeah, yeah that is true. Um, with him, I mean, even though it's not a, a like a really outstanding Muay Thai, it's not a Muay Thai background that he has, it's more of a point sparring. But he knows exactly, he knows that he, he'll be able to take punches in case because he's been kicked there before. But um, yeah, he, I mean, he did take the punches very, I mean, he did take the kicks very well, which is was very uh, amazing to me. But uh, you know, he's, he's a very tough dude. And So your shin's a little bit banged up, talk about that, when that, you think that happened? Kicking his body, going for kicking his elbows, yes. My shins are extremely banged up right now. My right foot is killing me right now, and I'm standing as we're speaking right now. But you know, hey, I do it all for the fans. Anything else you want to say, Anthony? Uh, thank, you for, thank you for watching me, everybody that supported me, all the Alpha Male guys that helped me out. Uh, thank you to all my coaches, One Kick Nick Sergio Pena, and also my teacher, Sex on Dungeon. I appreciate everything that you guys have done to me. And also, I want to dedicate this one to my boy I lost two weeks ago in a motorcycle accident. So, There you go. I'm Spencer Lazar, Anthony and Jaquani. Look for him moving forward in the lightweight division of the UFC. Godspeed and party on.